And how do you feel about live performances within electronic music? Do you think that, yes, if there is that opportunity for live, then go for it, or electronic music is produced for DJs, should producers stick to DJ? Yeah. Uh, I think it's circumstantial, isn't it? It depends what uh, the audience are want or what they expect. And it's always been fucking difficult for me anyway, because I've never really known what to do. <laughs> and some t often it works and sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And, you know, sometimes saying oh, I should have should have done that, should have gone more in that direction or should have done more live or should have just tried to DJ and not yeah, you know, I'm still really learning and all of that sort of stuff. So, first and foremost, um, is is writing and pro producing because uh, the the way I write and the way I produce isn't uh, it's just nothing like performing live. It's very laborious and it's it's not. I'm playing a whole song through on an instrument and then doing another instrument. It's like spending four hours on a bar, you know, and and just like working out stuff so it's completely different and that's I think that's difficulty with translating it to a live thing because I did it's, I'm not going like that like <laughs> but um, it's almost but like when it's you're a different thing and it's equally as exciting but well personally not but it's exciting in a different way it's almost like when you're recording little segments uh, for your productions it's hard to envisage how that's going to translate to a live set yeah sure and a lot of the time it's just like yeah I'm just playing what I've recorded live with you know and singing and pressing and triggering stuff that's been recorded already and that's a lot of the time the case